Mark, I just wanted to get uh, your thoughts uh, to follow up on a comment you made a little bit earlier where you said that uh, the administration is essentially complicit in this boom-bust cycle that we're experiencing, uh, given kind of the cheerleading, uh, in your words, of the, of the central bank. And as we've, you know, chatted on and off throughout the years, I know that you've been pretty steadfast in your belief that, you know, the markets are in a bubble, and a lot of that is uh, accelerated and accentuated by some of the actions taken by the Fed. So I'm curious, since, since we haven't heard from you, um, in this forum uh, since before the pandemic, you know, what do you make of the central bank's latest activities uh, with regard to propping up, uh, you know, the financial markets, propping up, uh, you know, small businesses and, and meant to shore up the economy during the shutdown? It's very destructive. It's very, very destructive. It feels good. It looks good in the short run. They look like heroes. But the long run effects of this stuff is very, very destructive. And so, you know, it's the broken window fallacy. We see that we're, we're they're repairing these things, but we don't see the things, we don't see the opportunity costs and the things that lie around the corner, which always lie a corner at, from, uh, from credit bubbles. And, and we're also not, we're not paying attention to the massive disparity of, of wealth that's being created when we, when we inflate these financial markets. It's, it's unconscionable, really. All right. We're going to leave it there.